Okay, folks, uh, we have a slightly different video today that will hopefully help a lot of you out there. Um, many folks get the normal nic nickel metal hydride uh, rechargeable batteries that really only go up to when fully charged, if you're lucky, 1.35 volts. And oftentimes you need stuff that literally gets up right to 1.5 volts. And that's why a lot of folks uh, get these EBL nickel zinc rechargeable batteries. They actually go higher than that. They're, they get up to like sometimes 1.6, maybe even 1.7 volts. Uh, so theoretically they offer a better option, but what a lot of folks have discovered is that uh, shortly after recharging some of the batteries, we get a, an issue. Now, right now, all four of these are recharging. And the way you know that is you can see a, a, a red solid light. Once it's fully recharged, those red lights will turn green. But let's go ahead and push these batteries in. And we notice something different about this one right here. You see that it's a flashing light. And what that means is the charger's not going to recharge it. So what do we do? Well, first thing I want to do is pull this battery out and show you a little something. Stand by. Okay, what I've done is I pulled the battery out. It's going to be kind of tough to do, but... Uh, let me go ahead and put the probe on the negative terminal and then we're going to get the probe on the positive terminal and watch the multimeter. Look what happens. It's kind of hard to do here. Basically what you're seeing is just steadily winding down almost to zero. So uh, what, what you have is a couple of different scenarios for this battery. Uh, one scenario is, in, in some instances, it could actually reverse polarity. Uh, more often than not, the, the problem that you have with the battery is it goes below a target voltage, which this charger will not accept to allow it to recharge. So what do you do? Well, a lot of folks have been complaining to EBL, and they've gone ahead and, and asked for a return or refund. There is another option. So if you in fact have a charger, such as right here, mine's made by Tenergy, if you plug it in, all right, this is designed, let me state up front, this is designed to only charge uh, traditional nickel metal hydride NIMH batteries. However, what I have discovered is you can put the nickel zinc battery in and it will initially attempt to charge it. And I say initially attempt because what you'll see is it will also go through a charge cycle and then at a certain point, it may take uh, less than a minute, it may take uh, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes, but eventually what will happen is you will see right here on this little charging icon, basically an outline of a battery, just a, a solid outline. And then when you see that, it this charger will say, that's it, I, I can't go any further. All right, so when it gets to that state, and, and we'll wait a minute or so to uh, see if we get there, the, the thing that you wanna do is take a peek at the voltage and, and see if it in fact, is charging. Um, now, sometimes you can get lucky and right off the bat, this thing will start charging and it'll keep going until it finishes. Now, you know that this charger will finish when you see these, uh, in this case, these three little bars, it'll stay at the top and it won't flash anymore. Um, but in, in most cases, when I've done this, um, it, it normally turns, um, you know, an outline color and, and it doesn't finish. So what you want to do at that point is, is go ahead and check the voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out right now and see what kind of voltage I can get and, and see if it in fact is really charging. So let's pull it out. 
and we'll put the probes back on right here it's kind of I'm going to try to do this again like I did before. It's it's kind of challenging, but um, we'll see if we can do this in a kind of almost one-handed operation. We, yeah, maybe not. Let's, let's take a peek at it. All right, here we go. All right, so it's coming up in voltage. So uh, we had a negative value, and now we have a positive value. So what I'm telling you is you're going to want to put this thing back in the traditional nickel metal hydride charger, such as this one by Tenergy. You may have a different one. Uh, you need to keep monitoring it. You need to check and, and just hand touch it to make sure it's not overheating or anything. And here's what I have discovered is your, um, your magic number, if you will, where you can stop using this charger and put it back over here. Once this target voltage on this nickel zinc battery gets up to one volt, I can now bring it back over to here and charge it normally here. And it, it will charge right up to you know, the normal charge rate, 1.6, 1.7 volts. So what I'm going to do is let this thing keep charging. And when it gets up to one volt, I will show you, I will shift it over to the other charger and the other charger will pick it up. Uh, EBL says that they normally only want you to, they, they, they specify this particular charger as just for nickel zinc batteries. And there's a reason for it. Uh, this charger has, um, I think I measured one time and it's like 1.75 or 1.8 volts max. Whereas this one, because it's doing nickel metal, you know, traditional uh, rechargeable batteries that are rated at 1.2 volts, the, the max voltage that each of these prongs put out is like 1.4, 1.43. So, each one is designed for their respective batteries, but we can use this one to get an errant um, cell that's that's gone wrong or whatever the problem is, at least up to one uh, volt. Uh, and once it gets up to one, then we can shift over here and get it on full charge. So we'll come back in a minute or two. And once this battery has gotten up to one volt, then we'll shift it over and we'll show you how it, it's going to continue to charge on the black charger. Okay, folks, this is exactly what I wanted to show you. You'll notice that the, uh, the little charging bars that were in here have stopped. Um, and all you see is an outline of a battery. And what that says for this charger is uh, this thing is not fully charged. So what we want to do is we want to pull the battery out and see if we've gotten at least to one volt. If we haven't gotten to at least one volt, we're not going to be able to put it back in this charger and have it do its thing. So uh, let's see if we can. Uh, all right. Oops. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this one handed, but. It looks like we're up to 0.7 volts. So what we're going to want to do, and, and this is what I'm telling you, is you have to keep doing this until you get up to at least one volt. So we put it back in the charger and notice it goes into the charge cycle again and it immediately stopped. So let's go ahead and rotate the position. See if we can get it to charge in a, a different slot. And, and like I say, all we're trying to really do is get it up to one volt. Uh, I've tried in the past to, you know, somewhere around 0 0.5, 0 0.7, uh, even as much as, as 0.9 volts, and it just did not work. But once it gets up to one volt, I think that's the minimum target voltage this thing will accept to allow it to continue to charge. So we'll come back and we'll keep doing this until we measure, you know, with our multimeter, we measure the, the voltage. Now, if you don't have a multimeter, 
um, the best thing I can tell you is just keep doing what I'm doing uh, and uh, periodically move it from this charger here over to here. And if you're able to get it in this charger and get a solid charging light like we have right here for all four of these, then you know you've reached your target voltage. And that's that's how you go about doing it. So we'll come back in a second once we've got around one volt, and then we'll shift it over to the other charger and show you it does, in fact, work. Okay, I went ahead and uh, took a measurement on this battery, and it was up to 0.82 volts. So let's see if it'll actually charge. We'll put it in the black EBL charger. Of course, the, the solid light will initially come on, but if within a minute you see a flashing light, you know you didn't reach your minimum target voltage. Uh, so far, this one appears to be taking a charge. So um, I, I don't know if, if one volt was um, the minimum or if in this case 0.83 volts is what I measured using my multimeter, but it, it looks like so far it's, it's going to charge. It's a solid light like the rest of these and then what we'll do is we'll come back when it's fully charged and you'll see that it, it will have a minimum of 1.6 volts, which I believe is what it's rated at, uh, possibly higher. So um, this system works. Um, it's, it's something I kind of discovered by accident. And uh, when these things are approximately uh, $2 and some per battery, you really don't want to throw these away and you don't want to hassle with trying to get a, a return from EBL. What I do recommend though, is once you have a battery that, that falls under this condition, you, you somewhere on the battery, you may wanna make some kind of mark or notation and then see if every time it's doing that. And if it's doing it every time, uh, maybe that particular battery is, is time to send it back. But so far, it looks like it's charging and we'll come back real quick uh, when this light turns this light and these lights turn green and that means it's fully charged and then we'll see what the actual final target voltage will be. <clears throat> okay folks, this is the final look at the, uh, the battery sitting in the charger. This is the one we had issues with and you notice now the light is green which means it should be fully charged. We'll go ahead and pull it off and take a quick peek with our multimeter to see if we got at least 1.6 volts and whether it goes into any kind of a discharge state. It's going to be kind of tough because I really need three sets of hands to do this. But we'll give it a try. Okay. Yeah. There, I'll try it over here. There we go. Oops. Keep it steady. And there we have it. 1.73 volts. It is fully charged and fully operational. So this system works. But again, don't forget to mark the battery since it happened once before, just to make sure or see if it happens again. Um, my observation is these appear to be randomly rotated. I don't know if it's a problem with the chemistry, if there's an internal short, I really don't know what's causing it, but this is how to fix it. Good luck. Bye.